Hi everyone, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Typecast from Red Giant Universe. Typecast is a text plugin that allows you to quickly and easily animate your text letter by letter or word by word. It's a pretty simple plugin, and I'd like to show you how this works. Now first, to apply our effect, we need something to apply it to. In the case of Premiere, I'll use a black video clip, which we can create by going to File New, Black Video. Now that I've got my clip here, I can go to my effects, locate the RG Universe text category, grab typecast, and drop it on the clip. As a user of Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects, I can also go to Window, Extensions, and pull up the RG Universe dashboard. This allows me to browse all of the plugins that ship with Red Giant Universe and view previews of them and browse their presets. For typecast, I could simply click on the text category locate typecast and either click on apply effect or double click the thumbnail to apply it. Now I'll select this and take a look at the effect controls. Typecast is going to need to be animated and you're going to animate using the effect start. Now where the effect start needs to begin and end to reveal all of your text is going to be dependent on some of your other settings. So I want to take a step back and just talk a little bit about exactly how effect start, effect width, and effect ramp all work together. And I'm going to jump to a different clip here where I've actually set my text content to be all periods. So this just allows us to focus on the exact effect area. When I talk about an effect, I'm talking about affecting something like the scale of the text or its offset. We are affecting the transformations, color, and opacity of the text. These parameters here, such as color, offset, scale, opacity, and rotation, these parameters are applied to the affected area. And then as the affected area moves out, it moves back to the original value. Now, the effect start is where the effect begins taking place. If I remove my keyframes here, and slide this effect start around, we can see that we are moving the affected area of the text. If I change the effect width, you'll see that the affected area gets bigger or smaller. Pretty straightforward. The effect ramp is how long it takes to get from the original value to the affected value. And this is a percentage of the total affected area. So if I set this to 50%, this will gradually ramp up and then ramp back down. If I set this to 25%, we should see it ramp up and then plateau and stay at that value and then ramp down. So the effect ramp percentage is a percentage of the total affected area. The effect width is the percentage of your entire text. So as you change the effect width and ramp, you'll find that the effect start might sometimes need to move to a negative value to get the entire affected area out of visibility. So let's jump to some real world content rather than using some period. So the first thing I'll need to do is edit my text content. So I can click on edit text and put my new text in here. You can also copy and paste. Also note, this is where you would change your font. Now I'm going to make my type a little bit bigger, so I'll go to the text settings here, and let's turn this up to, let's say, 64. So now I'll add some animation to this. So I'll go to the effect start and drag this so that my text disappears. Click on the stopwatch, so I'll set a keyframe for that, and then I'll move this forward until all my text is visible. So now we're ready to adjust the overall animation. I'll do a few different variations here. I'm going to turn the opacity up just so that we are not affecting it during the transition so that you can see what's going on a little bit better. Also, I want to point out that there is a value called crop. And what this is doing is cropping the text content to the affected area. This is useful if you're trying to do transitions because you want the text to sort of go away during the transition. So just to show what this would look like if I turn this off, we can see all of the text when we do this, and it becomes more of an effect rather than an actual transition. So if you're using this as a transition, simply keep crop set to effect. And I'm going to remove that extra keyframe there. So I'd like to start by simply setting all these values to not affect the text. 
Note that a scale of zero means it's not affecting the scale. So a scale of zero is not adding additional scale to it. And if I like to turn off the color from the effect, I can uncheck this text box. So let's have it sort of slide in from the right and move into place. So what I can do is adjust the offset X. And if I set this to maybe negative 150, these letters will all slide in 150 pixels. Now remember, I turned the opacity all the way up to 100. So we're starting all of our text at 100 opacity. So it's actually kind of popping the letters on. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. But if you'd like to fade it on as well, you can simply set the opacity to 0. And now all the letters will both fade in and slide in along the x-axis. If you'd like to switch this over to using words, I can simply go to the grouping and change this to words. I'll switch this back over to characters and do something a little bit more dynamic. So I'll go to the scale and let's set this to maybe four. So this will raise the scale of each letter by four times. And then it will animate back to its original size. I can add a little bit of rotation. So I'll set this to negative 30. And we'll turn the text color back on. Let's start it in kind of a, an orange color. I'll move the offset and the Y down just a little bit to kind of center these letters. Now if I play through this, really cool, really easy to use. Now as easy as it is to animate and change things, you can also choose presets if you can access the universe dashboard by clicking on choose a preset and it will pull up the presets for this particular plugin. I'll select uh, float up words. Now in this case, it looks like I need to adjust the effect start just a little bit. So I'll drag that slightly more into the negative values. Overall, it's a pretty simple plugin, but it allows you to do some really powerful animations. So as you make changes to this and you'd like to either save your settings for later or share your settings with others, each plugin in Universe has the ability to save as a preset, and this will be stored in your dashboard under that plugin's category. So for Typecast, I would go to Typecast, scroll down to the bottom, and we'll have a custom section right there. Also, if you'd like to share that file, you can locate it in your user's documents at the path shown on the screen. So that is Typecast from Red Giant Universe. It's a very simple and powerful easy to use type animation plugin. My name's Harry Frank for Red Giant. I'll see you in the next video.